Hey guys, what's up? Connor here, and this is episode 11 of Minecraft Client Coding, How to Code a Minecraft Client, whatever. Um, so this episode we are going to be covering Nofall, and just what Nofall is and what it does. Now, Nofall prevents you from taking fall damage when enabled. Now, most people, if you clicked on this tutorial, you are probably... Are, well, you probably already know what nofall is. So, you know, that was pretty useless. But, who cares? Okay, so anyway, I showed you guys this yesterday, I think. <clears throat> with the nuker video, I turned it on and didn't really test it. But anyways, I already typed all this out. I've kind of already added this to our um, client here that we're doing. And... I remember in the comments of the Nuker video some people were talking about how this works and people who said that this um, packet tells the server that the player is on the ground, eh, they're somewhat correct. Um, it can handle bounding box manipulation and some other things of that nature, however mainly it just handles if the player is on the ground. So basically all we're doing here just ignore all of this, like, I don't even need that, I don't know why, oops. Um, just like in the Nuker video, you guys aren't using the same event system as me, so, um, oh, maybe I did need that. But anyway, I am actually just going to rewrite this whole thing. So, anyway, I'm just going to write it as you guys should have it. Now, obviously, um... I'm going to change it back, but for this tutorial, I'm simply going to write it as you guys would see it. And then I'll change it back right before I start up the client to test it. So what you guys are going to do public void on update. So our on update event. And we're going to check to see if our mod is enabled, so however you have that set up. So if the mod's enabled, then we're going to check if minecraft dot get minecraft dot the player oops, dot um fall distance is greater than two f so if the fall distance is greater than two then we are going to send a packet saying that the player's on the ground so um minecraft dot get minecraft dot the player dot send queue dot add to send queue new now watch very carefully and listen very carefully c zero three packet player now if we just sent this it really would not work how we wanted it to so we need to specify <coughs> Excuse me, we need to specify in the parameter if um, the player is on the ground or not. And obviously we are going to say true because the player is going to be on the ground anytime the fall distance is above 2. Now a lot of people are probably wondering why 2? Because they've probably seen other tutorials that tell you if fall distance is greater than 3, the player dot on ground equals true. Well, in this scenario, Honestly, if that were the case, right when you're falling down, right when you get to 3, which is the obviously the fall distance where you start taking damage, right when you get to that 3 point, it says you're on ground, so then you take no fall damage. Obviously, that does not work anymore because that has actually been internally patched, as far as I know. Um, so what this does is it says if the fall distance is greater than 2, then it's going to send a player packet that tells the server that the player is on the ground. So anytime the player's fall distance is above two, which obviously if you only jump two blocks, you're not going to take any fall damage. So it's basically telling you you're on the ground until you get to two, in which case, once you're at two, you're not going to take any fall damage anyway, so it's okay to stop sending the on-ground packets. So that's what that does. Hopefully you understand. I really try to understand or explain to you guys what's happening the best I can rather than just dumping code on the screen and having you guys copy it down. So hopefully that will help you. And now I'm just going to reverse all this. So if you haven't typed all this out, go ahead and do so. I'll give you a few seconds. You can pause the video. And I'm just going to reverse all that back to what I had before, which is the exact 
same thing only just in a different format. So now we're going to test it out. Obviously, you want to do extends whatever module and you want to specify um your different parameters for this class and you won't have the exact same things as me, but as long as you have that on update method just like any of your other mods and you specify what I just had up on the screen a few seconds ago, then you will be all good. So let's go ahead and start it up. Next episode we are going to be doing ESPs and that will be probably a good 40 minute ep episode. It'll be pretty long, um, but I want to show you guys how to do it. Um, gotta love that Avo. <laughs> but, like I said, I'll be showing you guys how to do it. I'll be explaining everything outside of OpenGL simply because it would take forever because OpenGL isn't even my speciality. Um, so it would take me a long time to explain this to you guys. But basically, we're going to be writing some methods that draw. Um, ESPs around things, and I'll show you how all the iterations work for the entity list, and how you cast and ent certain entities to the um, entity list, which actually is an array list of objects rather than an array list of um, entities. So I'll show you guys how you can cast entities to that, and only get specific um, types of animals or mobs or whatever. So now we're gonna test it out once I. Um, Guess I don't have a fly on here. Gotta find some cliff or something. Um. By the way, leave requests down below. You guys have been doing that well. But next episode, I will be doing all the ESPs you can imagine: chest ESP, mob ESP, and um, player ESP. So, yep. Am I getting a oh hunger? Well, as you can see, this is definitely high enough to cause some fall damage. And none's taken except for that from the hunger. It's kind of hard to show you guys. So I'm just going to go. Oh, wait. I don't even have it on. I should probably do that. So now, as you can see, no damage was taken besides that from the hunger going down. I'm just going to let the spider kill me so I can show you guys again. Oh. Why is it freezing off? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to jump. Is that lava? Is there light? It must be like the oh yeah, the lava. Well anyway, I'm just gonna go over to this tree thing over here and I'll show you guys that you do indeed take no fall damage whatsoever. Um, I don't know how to get up here. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna jump up here. And no fall damage is taken. So that's how you do it. Hopefully you benefited from the tutorial. I actually have to head out right now. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Tell your friends to subscribe. I really want to grow this channel and increase the um, size of the Minecraft developing and hacking community. Mainly because I've noticed that the hacking community tends to be a lot more mature than the non-hacking community for the most part. Um, generally pretty mature, although some people do not put a good image on the hacking community, but I'll end the episode there with me being shot by a skeleton. We'll see you guys later. Adios, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends. So we'll see you guys later, and goodbye.